Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be testing out, reviewing, and demoing the new Jeffree Star and Morphe brush collab. And I also have the sponges to test out too. But yeah, if you want to see what I thought of these brushes and how they worked, then just keep on. Alright, so I want to just kind of give you like my first thought opening up the bag. Literally, it's still in the package. And here are the sponges. They're all packed up still. So I just want to give you my first like initial thought because I haven't touched these. I haven't opened them. So all right. So this is what the package looks like that it comes in. And then it just has a little sleeve on it. And you take that off. And then you just have this little bag. And it says Morphe times Jeffree Star. Has a little zipper. And opens up like so, which I actually really like this bag just because it literally opens up all the way. It's not like just like this. It literally goes from end to end and you can open it just like that. So that's cool. And then there's this plastic piece in here. The bag actually is just like this clear pink stuff. So the brushes obviously come packaged in plastic. Um, hold on, let me get these brushes out because no one wants to hear me talking over crinkling paper. There's seven brushes in here and a bag. So it's pretty easy. All the pink brushes are synthetic and all the like white haired brushes are natural. So it's pretty easy to figure out which ones are synthetic and which ones are natural in the collection. And then for the sponges, you do get three sponges and they just look like so. They're, of course, pink, like everything else in the collection. So it says there's a highlight and contour beauty sponge and two mini highlight and contour beauty sponges. They look just like Morphe's red ones. These are just pink, so I can already pretty much tell you I'm going to like these because I love the Morphe sponge. I'm typically not a fan of mini sponges. Um, I've tried one, I think, from Beauty Blender when they did theirs, and then someone else has done one. All the brushes have this, like, pink handle. And they all say Morphe X Jane. No, wow, not Morphe X Jane Strauss. Morphe X Jeffree Star. So I really like Morphe brushes for the most part, so I'm kind of expecting just the same kind of quality. These actually feel really soft, which I'm pretty shocked by. I don't know what I was expecting, but for some reason the like pink hairs kind of made me think they were gonna be like rougher. I don't know. I feel like any brushes I've ever tried with like colored hairs were like a really cheap brushes for the most part and b not soft at all so i'm going to use my everyday products the foundations i use every day junk like that I just went in and wet the jeffree star sponge again it's exactly like the morphe contour sponge the way it feels the way it looks it's just pink and now i'm going to take the js1 brush which is the big round foundation brush and I'm just taking the products I always use, use the primers I always use, so I know exactly how this should look. I actually like using both a foundation brush and a sponge, just because I feel like it gives me the best finish. I like to go in with a foundation brush and like apply the first like layer or so, and then go in with a sponge and just kind of press everything into the skin. It, this brush is... A little bit softer than a lot of foundation brushes I feel like I've tried. Like it definitely has a little bit more like push and give to it. Which doesn't bother me. I've actually really been enjoying brushes like that lately. Just using like much softer brushes to apply my foundation. Okay, so I really like how this applied my foundation. One, this is such a good foundation anyways. Like it looks really nice. It looks really smooth. It's not like super cakey like here. Sometimes brushes can make it look really cakey there. Yeah, I like that. I don't feel like I need to go in with a sponge and go over my foundation. I really like how this applied it. So yeah, I like this brush. Um, it didn't shed or anything. Applied the foundation really, really nice. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I'm gonna use the Morphe Jeffree Star JS2 brush. Um, Typically, I don't set my face with these like tapered brushes. I like to use like the really big 
powder brushes to set my face generally. And these kind of brushes I like to like bronze with or apply blush with. But I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this brush. So I'm actually going to set my under eyes with the brush I normally use just because the powder I've been using is so finely milled. I feel like on this big of a brush it's just going to make a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with a different brush. To set the rest of my face I'm going to take that Jeffree Star brush and my Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 16 hour powder foundation, which is what I've been setting my face with and I've been loving it. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna pat. Like this feels so strange to me because again, I'm used to setting my face with like a huge powder brush. It set the face beautifully. So it looks pretty. It made my powder go on really, really nice. Um, it doesn't look cakey anywhere or anything like that. So. Yeah, I do like this. Um, like I said, though it's one of those brushes that I think I honestly would, for the most part, end up using it for like blush or bronzer or something like that. But it did set my face really nice for powder, so if you want to use it for its original purpose, that's great. But again, I like to use really, really big powder brushes. Alright, so I just went in and did my bronzer, so now I'm going to use the JS3, which is the Iconic Contour Brush. Says it's good for chiseling out those cheekbones. It actually says here that he said that it changed how he contoured his nose, which I'm used to contouring my nose with smaller brushes, but I could definitely see it working. And yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bigger than the normal brushes I use to contour like my nose or around my lips, but a little bit smaller than the brushes I usually use to do my cheeks. So interested to see how it's worked out. I feel like it's really good for getting like that sharp contour like cheekbone look you know like if you really want like a super detailed contour like with this brush I feel like I don't need to go in and bake because I could make it like super straight and I don't need to go in and clean it up but I do feel like to blend out like the part above it I need to go back in with like my bronzer brush. And as for my nose I did not like it on my nose um I'm not going to say that it wouldn't work for contouring your nose, but it's definitely something I would have to play with a little bit more before I'm like, I love that for my nose contour. That's it. So I just did my blush, and now I'm going to go in and highlight, and of course we know he was going to have a highlighting brush, and this is the JS4, and it's called the Fly High Brush. It is a natural bristle brush. It looks and since it's a Jeffree Star video, I feel like it would only be right to highlight using one of his highlights, so I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Peach. Goddess, I... I just remember he actually made one of my like favorite highlighters that I used to use all the time, which is in the shade Ice Cold. I used to love this highlighter. All right, so this is the JS7 Double Trouble Brush. It is just a double-ended brow brush. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go do my brows off camera, let my camera charge for a minute, and I will be right back. All right, so I just finished my brows, and I have to say I actually really like this brush. Um, it's long enough, but not so dense that it, you know you can put it down and actually like, you know, start to glide it along your brows. Some brushes are so, dense or so short that it's like these like super streaky looking spots because it makes such harsh marks but I like this one because you really can just put it down and just start to go. I love that it has a spoolie on the end. Alright so there is two eye brushes in the collection. There's the JS6 which is the Rule Blender Brush which is a natural haired brush and it's just a blending brush. And then there is the JS5, which is the Crease Queen brush. And again, natural bristles. This is what they look like. Pretty standard blending brushes. The JS5 is longer than the JS6. So this again is like a crease brush. This one, for me, I would use more like pack on color. But I'm just gonna quickly just do a little bit of something on my eye. So I guess just to keep with the spirit of the video, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, which I really like this palette. I really haven't used it enough. Like, I've used it a few times, but as you can see, there's shades that I've barely dipped into that I really want to mess with. But today is not that day, so I'm just going to take the shade Cake Mix. 
and start working that into my crease. Hold on. I need to like press out the brush a little bit because it feels a little bit stiff. Sometimes when you get new eye brushes, you need to just kind of press them out because they're really stiff when they ship them and make them, so. Yeah, that's much better. It had like no give to it. Yeah, so I like this blush. Br blush. <laughs> I like this brush. It applied the color nice into the crease. You can really get like all the way on the outer corner of your crease and all the way on the inner corner. So I'm going to take the shade out in the palette, which is just another neutral shade, and just kind of build up the outer crease a little bit. So then I'm just going to go ahead and take this brush ouch and cake mix together and just kind of run that along the lower lash line. So yeah, that's all the brushes. I'm going to go ahead and add the finishing touches, mascara, lip, things like that. And I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. So I don't really have anything negative to say, so this is going to be pretty quick. I really, really like the brushes. Um, so I love the foundation brush. The eye brushes, I really, really like them. You can always use more eye brushes because if there's one thing I hate to wash, it's eye brushes. So I have a lot of them and I just let them get dirty. So I always love new ones because that means I don't have to wash brushes just like a day sooner, you know? Um, but yeah, love them. If you like Morphe eye brushes, you will like these. You know, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, same quality that you always get with Morphe eye brushes. So if you tend to like their eye brushes, you will like these in this set. Again, same with the highlighting brush, very similar to their other highlighting brushes. I don't use um, pomades very much. I used to use them all the time for my brows, but lately I've just been loving the Benefit Precisely My Brow, and that's really all I've been using for my brows. But I definitely like this. Like, if I was to use a pomade, I would definitely reach for this brush. So I love brushes that are shaped like this. Um, it was really nice for my setting powder. I can't wait to try it out with my bronzer, because that's... Typically the brush shape I look for with bronzers. Yeah, I actually can't wait to try this with my bronzer and my blush. So I definitely like this brush and I love brushes like this that are so versatile that, you know, I will use it to set my face if I need to. I can use it to put bronzer on. I can use it to put blush on, you know. So I love brushes like this that you can use for so many different reasons. But yeah, this was a good brush. Super soft. This has to probably be my least favorite brush in the collection and it is the contouring kind of brush. Um, again, I didn't really like it for my nose. The best place I liked it for was underneath my lip. Um, it was too big for my nose. Like I said, I'm used to using the Morphe E62 to contour my nose, which very different in size. And then I'm used to using just bigger brushes to contour with, like on my cheeks. It's definitely usable, and I will use it again in the future, but honestly, I think this would be a good under eye, like, concealer brush. Like, that's what it looks like to me. So I think I'm going to try it with my under eye concealers or correctors. Or I feel like it looks like a better brush for me personally for that kind of stuff. But you could contour with it. It just isn't my favorite thing that I've ever used to contour. Oops, I forgot. I didn't even, like, use one of the mini ones. But, again, unless I was, like, baking around my nose, I don't really ever see reaching for one of these or, like, really trying to get, like, into my inner corner and not mess anything up. I could see if I've already done my eyes using this to, like, really get into the inner corner, not to mess anything up. But, like I said, I probably won't reach for the little ones very often. But, again, I already knew I love the Morphe Highlight Contour Sponge. This one's just in pink. So, honestly, the sponge set, unless you really just want it because, A, you want a pink one, or, B, you want to support Jeffrey, I don't think it's necessary at all. It's and I really do like the bag. I like that it opens up, like, all the way. I think this would be perfect when you're, like, traveling and you want to have, like, really light makeup because I'm used to, like, taking those, like, huge brush tubs or, like, the James Charles brush tub that's, like, ginormous or, like, the uh, Morphe boxes that you can store brushes in. I'm used to taking like those, so it would be really nice to have something small like this that's like pliable that still does the opening up all the way. So you can see what's in there. So yeah, this collab gets a big thumbs up from me. Again, if you love him and you just want to support him, you are not going to be disappointed with these brushes. So the brush set is $49 and the sponge set is $16. 
All right, and I do, again, find them worth the money. This, the sponge set, not as much, just because the normal Morphe sponge is $8, and, you know, I could have gone and bought one of those and had a fresh, clean sponge, because I'm probably not gonna reach for the too many ones. So, like I said, the sponge was more of just, like, supporting the collab, like, wanting to test out both parts of it and supporting the collab, but I do not find the sponge set worth the money if you have no interest in the minis because you can get the regular red Morphe sponge for $8 at Ulta or on Morphe.com. So, yeah. But the brush set I definitely found worth the money. I mean, this stuff's not free and you don't want to spend your money on anything that's not worth it. If I missed anything and you have a question about it, feel free to leave a comment down below or contact me on any of my other social networking that I always have linked down below but, I but thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos from me and i will talk to you soon